Hi there, this is Fred, FR5ED, the five is silent, here with a beer review. I have Rebel IPA from Samuel Adams, Boston Brewing. Um, this is a, what it says on the label here, West Coast style, brewed for the revolution, 6.5% uh, ABV. The commercial description uh, is, and I love this. It says Rebel IPA is brewed with five, count them, I like five, it's not silent in this case. Five varieties of West Coast hops. We have Cascade, Simcoe, Centennial, Chinook, and Amarillo. You are talking my language. Wow, it's everything we love about West Coast style IPAs. Big citrus and grapefruit flavors with subtle pine notes for a flavorful, refreshing brew. Wow, you couldn't have written anything better for my book. I love that. <clears throat> now, on Rate Beer, uh, after 253, only 253, so I have to believe this hasn't been out that long because a uh, 253 reviews, um, Samuel Adams, or Boston Brewing, has become the largest uh, um craft beer brewery they still qualify they're below the six million barrels per year mark but back to this uh there's only been 253 reviews which makes me believe that with a brewery this size that that means that this is relatively new in their um uh, in their wheelhouse so anyway um looked interesting i'd never had it before i am open to trying things that i've not had before and especially if it's an ipa so uh Let's see how it's rated. <clears throat> Pardon me for the amphibian in my throat. Overall, 80. Uh, style, 50. Hmm. Okay, how about Beer Advocate? It's an 82, which is good, and that's after 859 ratings, and the brothers rated it an 85. Okay. Um, and I mentioned already that it was... 6.5% ABV. Let's go ahead and get it open and give it a try. I have let it warm up for a bit since I took it out of the beer fridge, the testosterator. Okay, I think I may have to stop here. Oh, I got it. Good pour, good pour. All right. Very clear. I mean, it looks well carbonated because of the head, but there's, I don't know if you can see, there are very few bubbles coming off the bottom. Let's go to macro mode and take a close-up look. Very few bubbles coming up off the bottom. I don't know what that's about. Let's take a look at the head. Uh, medium density, combination of small and large bubbles in there. Okay, let's bring it back home. All right, let's give it a smell. All, that is weird. That is really weird. Let me go back and read this. Rebel IPA is brewed with five varieties of West Coast hops, Cascade, Simcoe, Centennial, Chinook, and Amarillo. Did they not dry hop it at all? I smell yeast. Okay, I mean, it smells more like bread, like... There was a tiny bit of orangey aroma in the background. Let me switch this around. That's weird. I'm getting mostly bread. Yeasty bread. I'm not getting hop aromas at all. How can that be? First experience like this for me. Now, this is, they're claiming to be a West Coast style... And all these hops, okay, it does say brewed with five varieties. It doesn't say dry hopped, so maybe that's why the aroma is missing. Um, let's give it a taste. Plenty of hop bitterness. Hang on a second. Okay, an average amount of hot bitterness. I'm, I'm trying to identify what I'm tasting here. I 
I'd love to know what yeast they used. Um, I'm going to tell you in a minute what this reminds me of. <clears throat> and this has happened before. And I have to believe it's because of the yeast that was used. Okay. Getting an average amount of hot bitterness. Decent amount. You know, to me, qualifies as an IPA with this amount of bitterness. Um, Flavor-wise... <clears throat> little bit of citrusy lemon and I say a little bit mostly kind of a a flat bready taste but the yeast there okay here's what I was getting at when I said I was gonna mention this I know I've mentioned in, in the past a uh, couple of times um, that there's a taste similar to the, the beers I've had at Orlando Brewing, just, uh, you know, several miles down the road here. Um, it, it was the first brewery in Orlando and, um, still the only one I think in Orlando proper. <clears throat> there's a few others dotted around and I hope we grow. I'd love to get like Tampa. Oh my gosh. We need to have as many breweries as Tampa. Anyway. Orlando Brewing uses, I think, one strain of yeast. Um, they they adhere to the German purity standards of the 1500s, I believe. Um, I'd have to go back and review that, but they are very strict on the yeast strain, uh, and all, and they only use uh, in their beers four ingredients: water, barley, yeast, and hops. There's no additives. There's no flavors. There's no adjuncts. Um, in that sense, they are purists. <clears throat> there is something familiar about this, and it makes me think that they're using the same yeast strain. Hmm. Similar aroma and taste. I mean, I just get, t I'm zoomed right back into the tap room there at Orlando Brewing. Interesting. I'd love to find out if that's the case. Now, back to this to finish it, since we are going long. Um, look how clear that is. It is clear as a water, so very filtered. Um, this is not something, I'm, I, first of all, <clears throat> not a big Sam Adams fan. Not that I've tasted dozens of their beers. Uh, I, I do, you know, tip my hat to them as far as being one of the original craft brewers and growing as large as they have and not selling out. Um, unlike some others who never grew to their size and then sold out. Just saying. Um, uh, I, I, you know, I'm, I've tasted their Latitude 48, tasted 2-3. Their other IPAs was not that impressed. I do believe I've reviewed one or two of them here. Um, I might reach for this. Well, wow. Let me take one more taste before I say that. You know? I was under impressed with the aroma. I didn't get anything but a yeast aroma and that would have really turned me off. Um, but the flavor, maybe it's kind of a nostalgic thing because I kind of, you know, really ventured out into my craft beer adventures, uh, at Orlando brewing initially. And maybe this is a nostalgia thing triggering in me, but I might get this again. Um, you know, at some point just to be different, but I do take exception to calling it a West Coast IPA. And if you're going to use five different West Coast IPAs in the brew, why don't you put some in the, um, you know, after in the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, afterwards in the fermentation tank, do some dry hopping to give it some aroma because the aroma is not there. West Kyle, West coast style aroma is not there anyway this is samuel adams rebel ipa west coast style quote unquote um give it a try see if you like it i like it better than their other ipas and this is fred fr5ed over and out <laughs>